Well, Dan Trist, big win on the weekend. What were the uh, most impressive parts of the victory for you? Uh, for me, I think we had a pretty average first half, one of our maybe sloppier first halves of the year, but then we came back and had arguably our best second half of the year. Um, we knew they were coming off a double header, so you know, in the fourth quarter they might not have their legs, and we just kind of kept that pressure up and that momentum, and it paid dividends in the end. What changed for you guys, if anything, at all at half time? Was it a stronger focus, or what happened? Yeah, look, I, th I think it was a bit of a focus. We kind of had a, a, a tighter grip on the ball. We didn't really turn it over as much. And defensively, I think we locked in in defensive transition. You know, that first half, we were letting them get out on, on the fast break and not really sticking to assignments. And then um, on the other end, we were throwing the ball all over the joint. So second half, you know, controlling the possession game and, and getting more stops. And it's that simple, really. You got a few minutes yourself, got a bucket. Uh, talk us through uh, your role at the moment in the team. Yeah, look, I think my role it varies game by game depending on, on who we're playing. But at this point, it's, you know, come in, provide energy, um, you know, that physical aspect as well and, you know, get it down the block and do my thing. But otherwise, it's to move the ball, set screens, play defense. You ready to roll if you're called upon for an even bigger role, I guess, in the next few weeks? Yeah, mate, I'm always ready. Do whatever the team needs, help us win. You know, 25-point win on the weekend, pretty happy with that. Uh, big focuses for the team this week. What are you really looking at to improve on? Yeah, look, uh, I think... Obviously, we didn't play as well as we wanted to last time against United. Uh, it was a bit of that um, element that we had in the first half against New Zealand, you know, throwing the ball over the joint and, and not really sticking to assignments. So I think if we can hone in on their, you know, their guns on the weekend and, and also uh, control the ball ourselves a little better, keep them off the glass, we'll, we'll go a long way to winning. Plenty of guys here that used to be at Melbourne United. You're one of those, obviously. Do you get a bit more excited coming up against them? Uh, maybe the first game of the season, but now it's just, you know, we're in our, we're in our rhythm, it's all about us and, and um, yeah, we're focused on us and, and moving forward and, and holding on to, you know, one of the top spots in the league, if not the top spot, hopefully. They're in pretty good nick at the moment as well, four in a row, they'll be a tough opponent, I assume. Yeah, look, they're on a roll right now, they've got a lot of their guys back from injury, you know, everyone knew they were going to have a bit of a tough run the first few games, um, you know, with their NBA games and the injuries and all that, but, you know, with a full squad, they're definitely a tough opponent, I think. We are equally tough in different ways. So, you know, I think if we if we can be ourselves longer than they can be themselves, then we'll win the game. Now, just lastly, it's a double header this week. We haven't had a lot of those so far. How do you prepare for two games in the space of a couple of days? Yeah, look, I think um, you know our, our support staff, you know, Will and Eric have been huge in preparing us for this aspect of the season. You know, conditioning and and practices and load management, all that. So, I think when it comes down to it, it's going to be you know, getting that first game out of the way, recovering, and then relying on the work we've put in already to get us into that second game and, and, and keep our legs the whole game. Dan Trist, thanks for your time and best of luck on the weekend. Thank you very much.